Someone said immigrant tea. Priority two day, two day mail envelope from my parents. Persimmon slick and bundled in bubble wrap. Just a single ruined. Stack them into baby pyramids on the counter, in the fridge. Slice them into orange shards on toast. Tear into each bit until the stem whistles. What they taught, to not waste our waste. To fish our kid shit out of the toilet. To bury beneath the lemon tree, the calamansi, the persimmon. The package bite into the skin, taste the wasted, the wanted of childhood. So I posted this one on Facebook and my parents are like, I, love, I remember when we buried your, um, your poop <laughs> underneath the tree. <laughs> um, immigrants don't waste anything and I love that. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is a piñata party at the end of the alley. Strung from one end of the dumpster to the laundry line. How we improvise. The kindness of cars swerving in the other direction. I'm willful in front of the mirror, breaking into pieces. I gather and eat like candy. Tamarindo. Sharp tear on the roof of the tongue. This is how we immigrant tea. My mother washing styrofoam trays where she defrosted chicken. Still good, still good. We don't get E. coli. We had worms, but everybody had them. Pulling them out of someone, a sister, a neighbor. This is how we love each other, telling each other, push with two hands, not plugging our noses. Mm. I have a lot of poop jokes. <laughs> okay, I'll read a couple from the book. Everybody know about the Aswang? Yes. Kind of? Okay. Calling all of the Aswang in the world. Calling late night victims, feminine wasters, thick nosed words, rosary spill, toxic cherry pop, studio portrait hymens, Frida's grown on fire escapes, bad jasmine, big tooth islands, blood lies, private school panties, scrubbed away tomboys, plant parenthood liars for life. Bruised counselors, camped knees, rice daughters, spoiled prayers, garbage disposal goths, girl eaters, calamansi between fingers, shit talkers, jackfruit thieves, jam baby jars, paper devourers, baby chewers, mint spitters, you bitchy tadpole, pick up the phone. We've texted and called you like five times already. <laughs> so in working on this book, I was really interested in the aswang and um, the ways that um, Eddie talked about you know, slaying colonial mentality and, and the ways in which um, our stories and our myths were um, colonized and, um, and stolen and reinterpreted for in anthropological texts. So I was really interested in, in doing a lot of that work and, and interrogating that work. Because um, there's a lot of, like, here's the Aswang and, and, you know, exhibit A, you know, and it's like dissecting our stories. And so I was, I was really fascinated with um, what happens when um, we upend those um, those power structures. In tracing the linguistic annihilation of the priestess, Anitera, Anitero, Asog, Bayog, Bayogwin, Bruja, Bruja, Bailan, Bailana, Bailana, Babailana, Babailanas, Catalonan, Catalona, Achicera, Achiceros, Catalonan, Maganito. The root word talent, meaning forest. Talons, she's sharpening her talons. Spanish readership of missionaries' accounts grouped the above terms as simply priestess slash priest. Carolyn Brewer, an anthropologist, writes, it is important to note at this point that unlike Spanish, the indigenous languages of the Philippines have neither gendered pronouns nor suffixes to note sex. The institution of gendering. Some women I meet are not constrained by discursive conventions. Their transgression allows them to conceptualize femaleness with a priestly function. Some men I meet are not constrained by discursive conventions. Their transgression, transgression allows them to conceptualize femaleness with a priestly function. <coughs> this is the talon where my mother's breath perches. This is how I praise my mother, Anita. The subjects are fond of chisme, and rearranging fried pusit on the platter. The subjects are fond of prayer and Sharon Cuneta's early cinematic career. 
The subjects are fond of renewing their inner library loans and Nicki Minaj's long growl. The subjects are fond of salted garlic peanuts, a breath to terrify monsters. The subjects are fond of checking their own pulses, then listening for the witches who refuse to burn. Okay. I'm hoping I'm okay with time. I think I'm going fast, huh? You're good. You got like uh, <laughs> six minutes. Okay. Six minutes. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to read from a series called Accent Reduction School Graduate. And um, growing up, I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from Hayward. And um, I remember getting, yeah, Hayward. He's Bay. He's Bay. <laughs> um, I remember um, my father getting a uh, mail addressed to Roy Cruz, but spelled with C-R-U-I-S-E. And, um, and his name is Romeo, Romeo Alcala Cruz, okay? And, um, and I was like, who is this? And he started going to um, an accent, what was considering an accent reduction school and anglicizing his name so he could, um, you know, uh, fit in, right? And, um, and so I was thinking about that and also how so many telemarketer uh, firms are based in Manila. And so there's this sort of like ghostly um, sense of the city where, because of the time difference, right, there's a lot of te telemarketers who will pick up the phone and serve customers here, you know, through customer service, um, but it's like 2 a.m. in Manila, right? So I was interested in um, subverting that. Accent Reduction School graduate, the telemarketer. <coughs> yes, I'm a real person, haha. <laughs> I'm a real personality. What? Maybe we have a crossed wire. But there's a live personality here. I'm a real perspective. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a live personality here. I'm a live perspective. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe we have crossed woes, but I'm a real personality. Can you fill out the customer satisfaction survey after the beep? I'm a real personality. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Where do I live? Maybe we have a crossed wire. I'm a real person. A real persuasion. Can you hear me now? Where do I live? on the mainstream of every, of every town, of course, next to the Chamber of Commerce. Where am I from? Oh, you caught me there. I'm a live peso, but I'm a feral, per, feral personality. Where do I live? On the main stress of every toxin, ha <laughs> ha. A real personality. Maybe we have crossed wishes. Oh, now I can hear you. Accent Reduction School graduate, the telemarketer. How are you doing today? I'm sorry to bother you during dinner time. I'm sorry to bother you while you're spending time with your children. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you while you're setting the table and stirring the soup. I'm so sorry to bother you while you and your family eat. How are you doing today? Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hmm. I'm so sorry about your arthritis. Hmm. I'm so sorry to hear that your dog just died. I'm sorry to bother your time. That sounds terrible. I'm so terrible, aren't I? I'm so sorry to bother your arthritis. I'm so sorry to hear that your dollar just died. I'm so sorry to hear that your American dogma just died. Hmm, that sounds terrible. Sounds terrible. The soup's terrible. Sounds terrible that you just died during dinner time. Okay. So this is my last poem, and this is dedicated to Gingy. I don't know where Gingy's sitting. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm total nerding out that Gingy's here because I was writing uh, this poem while listening to her music, so I'm super excited to to read this and um, and there's also so I there's also a shout out to Jocelyn Enriquez. So <laughs> <laughs> disobedient after Gingy. Ginger is a sliver of ripe bark in the boil. Mombaton, a whistle to myself. Ancestors skipping rocks on sidewalk, dance and clean my mother makes with her coconut husk. See, accomplishing two things at once, huh? Savor wedding of slapping feet and Jocelyn and Enriquez, do you miss me? A wind billowing schoolgirl ribs into cloud air. Sweat through this, bamboo sticks, DJs correcting some aquatic equation. Voice doesn't trip up, spark friction on this scrap of carpet, I'm breathless. Forget it in a good way, in the way of lovely, lonely, inside vision of an overflowing river. My mouth returning where it belongs, ocean of clapping and tremor of salty, sweet reverb. Got a ghost, 
Got a slick air, got to move as if the spirit got to greet the body swimming. Got to move cup air like gold teeth. Disobedient ear swinging fish above her head, grip of sand in the corner of her teacher's eye. Stinky fish girl obedient, disobedient body, the laughter of, I couldn't help but smell this way. Thank you.